We've all had the problem with a clogged shower drain and know about it when we find ourselves standing in a deep puddle of water because the water isn't draining away as it should. Unfortunately, once this drainage problem starts, it gets worse over time. Unless, of course, you take action to fix it. Now, for those who have never sorted this problem out before and not sure where to start, well, don't worry. We'll be discussing that and I'll be showing you how to fix the problem and more. Coming up. Greetings and welcome back to my channel. Tim here again with another How To With Basics. Today we're going to look at and fix a clogged shower drain problem that we all have encountered from time to time. Now, in my experience, it is always better sorting the problem out yourself rather than calling a plumber as it's a lot quicker and a lot cheaper. Now, unclogging a shower drain yourself isn't as difficult as some might believe. The majority of clogged shower drain problems can be solved by using some very basic and straightforward methods and tools. The biggest cause of a clogged shower drain is hair, and especially long hair. Now, don't start blaming the person in your household who has got the longest hair, as after all, we are all equally guilty and all contribute to the problem in one way or another, as after all, we all lose hair. Take me as an example. I'm going to show and give to you a few suggested steps to follow in clearing a clogged shower drain. Okay, you will need one or two basic tools to help you and this will depend upon your drainage outlet. Firstly, if the cover is screwed on, then you will need a screwdriver which probably will be a Phillips or a star screwdriver as some people call it. You'll need a thin long nose pliers. Now if you don't have one, you can always pick one up cheaply at your local hardware shop. Or you can even bend up a, a little hook by using a piece of wire. However, the thin nose pliers always works a lot better for me. Okay, let's get into it. Firstly, Allow the water to eventually drain from your shower pan or mop it up, getting the area nice and dry as you don't want to be standing and working in a wet area. Secondly, you will see that the outlet drain pipe will be covered with either a grid cover or a strainer that is either screwed down or clipped in. So, firstly, remove this grid allowing you ease of access to the outlet pipe. Once you have removed this, and if you have one of the more modern type shower drain fittings such as this one, it will have an inserted dip tube which acts like a trap, catching most things that would likely cause you blockage. Okay. All you need to do here is to twist it anti-clockwise or in some cases clockwise to unlock it and then simply lift it out allowing you further access into the outlet pipe. Now this outlet pipe is normally very short and has an elbow shaped section at the bottom of it to where the main outflow pipe is connected. Most blockages occur right in the elbow section or in the trap making it easier for you to access and remedy its biggest cause. As we know, the biggest problem is hair, so I suggest starting there first. Okay, so let's remove the dip tube and, oh wow, it appears that we've been lucky as it has caught most of what has caused our blockage, which is, as we can see in this case, is hair. Now, using the pliers or piece of wire with a little hook, Check to see if there's anything else in the elbow section and if need be, pull it out as it will be fairly easily visible. Now do this until all other signs of hair or lumps of soap debris 
are removed. Okay, now once we've pulled all the chunky bits out that we can, I then normally throw in a bit of Domestos or disinfectant into the pipe. And then pour about a bucket of boiling water down the drain, observing if the water is now flowing away as it should. If, as in this case, the water is flowing out as we want it to, then before we reassemble it, I always recommend giving your loose parts a good wash before putting them back. Then reassemble your drain parts, remembering to turn your dip tube either clockwise or anti-clockwise to lock it back into position. Then put your strainer cover back. Run the shower on full to double check that the water is still running out freely as it should. If the shower pan starts to fill up again, then you have another blockage further down your outlet or outflow pipe. Bear in mind that sometimes a few pieces of soap do break off, especially when the bar soap gets smaller as the pieces tend to go down into the pipe and can also contribute to clogging. Hence the reason why we have poured boiling water down to soften the soap pieces and or even dissolve some of that buildup of oils and fats that of course comes off our skins. Okay, if it still remains blocked, I suggest go outside and inspect your outlet pipe, ensuring that nothing is preventing the free outflow of water. Turn the shower on and observe the flow of water from the outside. If only a little bit of water is coming out, then I suggest you get yourself a plunger from the local hardware store, mix up some dishwash liquid and boiling water and pour that down as that works pretty well as a lubricant and then pump or plunge away with your plunger. If this still doesn't work, then you will need to mix up some baking soda and vinegar, being a natural alternative to chemicals, and pour that down and allow it to sit there for a little while before pouring more boiling water down and pumping again with your plunger. Now, in most cases, pulling the hair out and giving it a good flush down with boiling water, as we did, will have sorted your problem out. Now, only in a rare case, you would have had to have followed my further steps as I've just told you. However, if none of that worked, you now have two last choices. You can then consider buying what's called a plumber's snake, which is a flexible rod or pipe, and force that down the outlet pipe to push the blockage out. Or, if you don't want to go to that expense of paying for the uh, plumber's snake, which they don't come too cheaply, you can then consider calling a plumber and then paying him to clear the blockage. <laughs> I would, however, suggest that you compare the cost of the plumber versus the plumber's snake, as after all, you will have the snake for the rest of your life and will never need to pay another plumber to clear your shower, bath, or even block toilet ever again. Just think about it. You've now learned from this video how to clear a blocked shower drain pipe. Thus, will now save you time and money in the future. This now brings us to the end of today's video. Thanks for watching. I do hope you've learned something new here today. And if so, please leave a comment below as your feedback is important in improving the overall quality of material being presented. If you know someone that could benefit from this video, then please share it with them as your help and support is really appreciated. Now, please don't forget to click the thumbs up, like button below, subscribe, hit the bell if you haven't already done so, and I'll see you next time with another How To With Basics video. Bye.